Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a really fun three-dimensional pop-up card. I'm going to be using the 49 and Market Color Swatch Willow Collection to make my project. I also have the Willow Laser Cut Elements, and these are like a sort of chipboard ephemera styles. I'll show you more of these when we're ready to decorate. So I'm going to need a piece of cardstock for my project. I've already selected the one that I want to use. So this is the paper I'm going to be using. It's double sided. And I'll select my laser cut elements later on as I get going. Let me show you what we're going to be making so you have an idea. So I have this cute brown envelope that I've decorated with some of the ephemera. I also have a little sticker that I put on the envelope and this is not part of the kit, but it's just something I had in my stash that I thought it went nicely with this card. So here's what we're going to be making. This card is a five by seven card. It folds flat, fits inside of an A7 envelope, and it does this. It pops up to be a display card like this. And then I've got all of these die cut elements inside. And I'm going to walk you through how to make this project. So again, this folds flat and fits inside of an A7 envelope. So to make that project, I'm going to pull in one of my templates. I'm going to be using the 3D projects templates. And I've got all of my templates printed and stored in this binder. Each book is separated by a tab. So I'm going to go to my third book. And in here is 3D projects. And I have different templates for shadow box cards and pop-up box cards. So in this case, this is a five by seven or A7 pop-up box template. And here we go. So there are three pages to this template. All the instructions and measurements that you'll need to make this card is listed here and you just follow along the steps. It tells you what size cardstock you need, where to cut and score, where to glue, and just step by step on how to get to the finished product. Okay, and this is your finished product all popped up. And then if you want to decorate your paper with pattern paper measurements, I've given you those layers as well. Um, because I'm going to be using pattern paper already, a heavy double-sided cardstock, then I'm not needing these layers to decorate. But the options are there if you choose to use like a solid color cardstock. So you'll find these books linked in the description box down below. So let's get our template open to the first page. And my first step is I need two pieces that measure five by seven and a half inches and one piece that measures two by seven inches. Okay, so let's start there. So I have this sheet of cardstock. I have a trimmer here that I'm gonna put together. First things first, I'm gonna cut off this branding strip. And I'll just get that lined up in my trimmer and cut that strip away. Now, I usually like to save these because the back side is going to be pretty. So I'll save that. Now I need two pieces that measure five by seven and a half. So when you're cutting to make this card, this will be five by seven and a half. That's how this card will lay out. It's like a landscape style. So if you have a pattern paper that is directional, you want to make sure that when you're cutting your patterns that this part is going to be five and then this part is going to be seven and a half so that nothing is sort of sideways. You'll see what I mean as we go along. So I want to make sure that I keep sort of this greenery as one of the front elements to my card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to seven and a half inches and then I'm going to cut at five inches and then again I'm going to cut at five inches okay now you'll have this strip left over and you'll also have this larger piece we're not going to need this piece so I'm going to set that aside 
I'm going to need this piece for my, in my template book, it tells me I need a piece that measures two by seven. So this is already two inches. It just happens to be what's left. And we're just going to cut this down to seven inches. So I'm just cutting off an extra half an inch here. So I'll have a piece that measures two by seven. Okay, I'm going to pull the template book back in and I'm going to take a look at my steps here. Now there are two pieces, an A and a B. The reason why they're not both the same letter is because B piece does not have a score line all the way across the center of the paper where the A piece does because the A piece is the front flap that folds down. So I'll show you how we're going to do this. We're going to take the first one and it doesn't matter which one, whatever one you want to be the front of your pop-up display. So we're going to put it in the trimmer and we're going to make a couple of scores. We're going to start scoring across the seven and a half inch side. We'll score at six inches and then seven inches. Rotate the paper one turn to the left and score at two and a half inches all the way down. So we're scoring all the way through on this and this is our a piece in the template book. All right, pulling in the next piece that measures five by seven and a half across the seven inch side, we're gonna make the same scores at six and seven inches. And then we'll rotate one turn to the left. And this is where it's a bit different. We're gonna score at two and a half inches, but we're gonna stop at the second score line, just down to meet that second score line. And we're not gonna score on this other piece, because it's going to be the back of the pop-up box where we want it to be nice and sturdy and flat with no score marks. Okay, so now we're going to make some cuts into these papers so that we can turn it into a workable box. So I'm going to refer back to my template here and make sure that I'm following along the steps. Now we're going to cut some pieces into the cardstock to make the little flaps. So we're gonna make a little cut here and then we're gonna cut this piece away. Okay, we're gonna make the exact same cuts to both A and B. So I'll grab my scissors and I'm cutting from the top of the cardstock down until I meet that first score line. And then I'm gonna come and cut just the tiniest little sliver away, just like not even a 16th of an inch, just a little sliver away, just so that the little flaps fold easily without any resistance. All right. And then on the other piece here, we're going to cut that entire section completely away just until we meet that little score line. I'm trying to cut as straight as possible following along those score marks. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once we're done, we'll have our little flap sort of separated and we can go ahead and crease the score marks. So this little piece on the side is where we're going to fold this over and apply adhesive to glue to the other side. So I'm just gonna crease those score marks with my bone folder and train that paper so that everything is nice and straight and all of the scores are worked in. And then we'll move over to the second piece and make our cuts there as well. And again, they're the exact same cuts, nothing different. So once both of those pieces are done, we're going to adhere everything together and it's going to come together like this. The piece that's scored all the way across the middle goes on the front and the other piece goes on the back. So these little half inch strips here are the only place where we need to add adhesive. So I'm just going to add some dot runner here on those two little flaps and then I'm going to flip them over and attach them together on top of each other, trying to get them lined up as best as I can. Just taking my time here and popping those two pieces on top of each other. Okay, so you really want to take your time here to make sure that it's lined up. You can use a scoreboard, pop the both of the two pieces into the corner of your scoreboard to give you sort of a guide and then press in that adhesive and then our box is formed. So it should look a little something like this. I just like to work it in to make sure that it's opening and closing properly and that it, it can uh, kind of fold flat both ways. All right. So the next thing we need to do is create this insert piece where we can add elements to pop up inside of the box. So this piece, which is labeled C, is the two by seven inch piece. And we're going to put some scores into this paper. 
across the seven inch side, we're gonna score at half an inch and six and a half inches. I'm just going to crease the folds and I'm gonna crease them opposite ways from each other. So I'll fold one forward and one backwards. And you should have a little something that looks like this. The reason that we do that is so that box can end up folding flat. We'll apply adhesive onto the outside pieces here and slip it into the center. And sometimes you may find that you'll need to just come in and trim a little bit. So I kind of test it first, make sure it fits. And if I find any resistance, I just kind of trim a little bit off of each side just so that it folds nice and flat and goes in without kind of bowing. Because it will go in, but if, if it's too tight, then it'll just kind of bow in the center. All right, so I just slip that in, apply adhesive to those two outer edges, and then test my box and work everything in. And it looks good, perfect. And now our box is ready, it's time to decorate. So now I'm gonna pull in those laser cut elements and I'm just gonna decide what I wanna do. There's all kinds of fun stuff in here. There are some sort of faux buttons and little tickets and sentiments, postage stamps. There's some beautiful florals. You get two full sheets of 12 by 12 of these laser cut elements and they just sort of pop out and you could just glue them down. And they're nice sort of chipboard. So they're, they're a nice weight. They match the papers perfectly. I love these sort of border pieces that look like real ribbon. They're really pretty. So I wanna add this to the back here. I have a sentiment on my front flap. So I'm just gonna apply some adhesive to my little faux ribbon, get that glued down to the back part. Now, when you're gluing things down, you just wanna make sure that nothing comes outside of the cardstock when it's folded flat. So if everything is within this card, when it's folded nice and flat, you won't have any issues. But if it pokes out, you'll have to trim it away because it won't fit inside the envelope properly. So now I've just added some floral elements to the suspended little banner in the center. And it just gives us that nice 3D element. And I've got added some buttons on the side, some butterflies, just all kinds of pretty things. I just enjoy making them. So this one is done now. I'm just going to make sure that it fits inside of my envelope nicely and just tucks right in there. And then that's it. Super simple project. Just follow along the steps in the template guide and you create these beautiful projects. They're ready to go for any sort of occasion. They're beautiful display pieces. Here are some close-up pictures of the beautiful 3D elements that we created today. If you're interested in my template books, you'll find them listed in the description box down below. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Coming up on screen are some videos I think you may enjoy. Have yourself a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!